so let, let's get to it, shall we? We've got Will calling in from Washington. Will, you're live on Truth Wanted. What's up? Hey, Jordan. Hey, Dan. How you guys doing? Um, I so I'm I'm a father of a young child, and uh, my what my ex wife and I are you know we're exes. Um, yeah. And uh, she's been talking about taking our son to uh, to a yeah you know, Sunday school and stuff. And it got it just sort of got me thinking about sort of what my responsibility is to this you know this young person. Like, you know, obviously you got to start with love. Like if my, if he grows, like right now he's two. So he's, yeah, I'm trying to get ahead of the ball. Um, you know, if he grows up and he wants to be a, a you know, a believer of some, some kind, like I'm, I'm not going to disown him. Right. Yeah. Uh, Real quick. I just, I don't mean to interrupt you. So sorry, Will. Are you on speakerphone right now? Oh, you know what? I've got you on my like Bluetooth headset uh here I'll okay just normal yeah if you could get it on normal without disconnecting the call that would be awesome just for our audio quality sake thank you how's, how's that better, better that's better. much better thank you will please go ahead sorry um did, so basically yeah so my you know my wife's talking about taking our son to sunday school and it just mm. it really bothered me and it just sort of got me onto this kind of thought about like what is my I don't know. I just, I, I never thought about the possibility of raising an atheist or like a theist child. And I was like, you know, if you guys had deconverted, like what would you have wanted to hear from a parent or, you know, if you, if you guys had any thoughts about that, I'm just, it was just a thought that, you know, kind of came through my head. So I've got kids too. I have four children and three of them are from my ex-wife who's a Christian. So I've had similar uh, issues to what you're going through right now. I think the most important thing that you already hit is to make sure no matter what choice your child makes that you love them and support them and encourage them in wherever they are. I think that's the single most important thing you can always do. What I said my goal was for my kids was I wanted to teach them how to think, not what to think. And so I made it very clear that they were free to come to any conclusion they wanted as long as, you know, it was a a good conclusion they had thought about. And that's really where I think the emphasis should go is you should gently challenge your children to think more, not think what you think, but just be a good rational thinker. You look for evidence, you know, approach things in a rigorous manner. And if you do that, I, I don't think that, you know, first of all, I don't think that's anything that your ex-wife could legitimately complain about. And also you just be doing your child a service, whether or not they deconvert, even if they end up staying a theist, surely better that they're a, you know, rational skeptical theist, but I'm interested to hear what you have to say, Dan. Uh, well, it's funny because I've been asked this question ever since I started appearing on the show, which I think I was like 22. Um, so I don't have kids. So like, <laughs> you know, I'm not the best person to ask about this. Um, I, I will say I have, uh, you know, grown in my 20s and have learned to uh, be a better man in my relationships and, and figure out what it means to like have a partnership with someone. And I've dated Christians. Uh, I've even, spoiler alert, even dated a Christian while I've been running this show. Don't ask me how that worked, but it did. And like, you know, um, that relationship didn't quite work out, uh, but I don't think it was because of these kinds of beliefs. Honestly, I think it, it was a, a different kind of level. You know, like if you I, there are people I know in the atheist community who are married to Christians um, and who are able to kind of come to compromises and agreements because they still share similar values on things. Um, and so I think this is maybe a question of uh, what kind of values do you share about um, how you want your kids to be raised and, and what that means to you. Um, you can't, unfortunately, in a situation like yours, I, I imagine you're not going to be able to win every battle. Um, but even if you can't, there's still the importance of being in somebody's life and being a figure and, and, and being, you know, your responses to things is, are just as critical um, to you know, whether your ex is taking them to Sunday school or bringing them to other things too, because chances are they'll probably ask you about some of that stuff and you can give your response freely. There's nobody saying that you can't, right? Uh, at least it, it doesn't sound like it from what you're describing. Um, so, you know, ultimately, as much as we hate it sometimes, we have to let kids think for themselves and, and come to that conclusion. We, we, can't, we can't make it happen. We can only be the best examples that we can and that's all that we can be responsible for, right? 
Yeah, no, that all, that absolutely tracks. And, and I think my, like, my biggest thing is, like, you know, if he wants to believe in a God or whatever, like, it makes him feel better at night, you know, like, I don't yeah. think it's great, obviously. I think we're all in agreement. But, but you know, like, sure. I don't think that's, like, the worst thing in the world. But, yeah, you know, it just, I, I'm so worried that, like, this exposes him to the possibility of, like, getting into, like, some of those kind of dark theologies, you know, like, right. he's going to be online, you know, before I know it. And that's just, a, you know, you, you guys work on the Internet, you know, it's a cesspool. Uh, oh, yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> the, I mean, there's so, a lot of like, studies. Are, yeah. I don't, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. I don't know if your kid's Gen Z or Gen Alpha. But, uh, you know, they, they interpret information differently than other generations. They really do. They, your kid is probably young enough. I mean, I know he's, he's young enough to have grown up in his entire life with the Internet being a thing. You know what I mean? And if he's not online now, he will be in the future. And, like, they, they, they generally have a sense of navigating that differently. Now, I will say this. That doesn't mean they're good at it because uh, there's a lot of people that, that, uh, right. <laughs> that aren't. But, like, um, they, they are more open about ideas i think is is the best thing you can possibly say i i, I think I, I think that's fair more than any other generation they're at least open to talking to other people about stuff so i i know you do have that going for you but you know at the end of the day also what, what they believe right now i don't know how old they are but they sound pretty young it's probably not going to be the same when they grow up right i think that's true even for christians who grew up christians I, how many christians are more grew more progressive in their theology as they gotten older right so you know it, it does happen sure. uh, I, I think it's good that you're worried about that, but it's also good to kind of let things go just a little bit because you're doing your best. It sounds like you're doing your best, right? And being a role model, and, and that's really the best you can do, I, I think. But again, I don't have any kids, so who knows what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> no, I mean, no, I mean, that that is pretty much the first thing you start learning as a parent is that you've got a limited scope of, you know, control over i mean yeah. and you know yeah like i was saying like he's my my guy is two right now so it's it's yeah. mostly like oh i should really get on to like thinking about this now before it like blindsides me one day yeah uh, just be prepared to answer questions they have but answer them lovingly and make sure that they like and i said it before but make sure that they understand that even if you disagree with them that's okay it's okay to have disagreements it's okay to disagree with your parents that's a great lesson that that you can teach them in this uh context so like even though it may not be the ideal situation this uh could be an opportunity to to grow your relationship with your child and i think uh that's the, the direction i would take it so, yeah yeah no, I, I feel like that's pretty pretty hopeful uh outlook on it and yeah, yeah, that's helpful. Good. I'm glad we could be of service to you, Will. Um, we are going to go ahead and end this call here. No, we, we appreciate it. You guys are doing great, and thank you so much. Thank you, Will. Thank you so much for calling in and um, and uh, sharing that with us. I, I'm quite flattered that people think I can give competent advice <laughs> on how to interact with their children. I'm honestly flattered. Um, I don't know why. But I'm glad that people can trust me enough. Obviously, Jordan, you're a parent, so you you know you've got that experience. But. Well, the the secret is that absolutely none of us know what we're doing. We're all making it up <laughs> as we go along. So yeah. <laughs> um.